Hi guys, welcome back to the Humble Gamer channel. I'm the Humble Gamer, and this is a new train sim playlist. Um, I mentioned while I was doing um, Railway Empire that I wanted to play a bit more of the actual game rather than just um, doing the the free roams of the um, the ah, <laughs> workshop route. Sorry, I'm not with it tonight. Um, and that's what we're doing. We're starting a whole new um, career playlist. This is the career mode on the West Highland Line extension um, from Fort William to Malague. Um, I'm starting at Fort William. This is the um, part one of the uh, tutorial video. I think it's called A Run to the Isles. Um, and this is essentially um, this is just a route learning exercise. Now of course the interesting thing about this is one of the reasons I chose this route is A, um, it's a nice route that I want to go on in real life and B, it's got the radio signalling so that's going to be fun. We are at Malay, no we're at Fort William and with a pardon me, 2 o'clock departure to Malay. So what I need to do is I need to test my radio so I need to click this. Two, two, seven, eight, and we're driving seven, a class eight, 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 <laughs> Yes, class 37, Fort William to Malay, Scott Rail Service. Two, two, seven, eight. Request to the system. Two, two, seven, another one. Press to accept test token. So press receive to get the, get the test token to see if I'm actually two, two, working. Seven, oh, eight, the system. This is a real system, by the way, if you don't know. This is actually how it works. So if I press send, we now enter the system. But it says no token here because that's just a test. I don't have a token because we are not due to leave until two o'clock. We are driving three seven four zero eight Lock Rannock, um, but next to us is three seven four double one, which is oh, it's some military thing I think. The Institution of Railway Signal Engineers. That's the one. Um, they leave before us. Um, they will leave before us. I imagine, given the uh, red light and they've got a green light. So yeah, they will go first and they're not going the route we are. Um, this will be split into two parts. The first hour will take us as far as Glenfinnan and from Glenfinnan through to Malay will be in the next video. Um, so yeah, and then what we're going to do is we're going to play through all the, tu all the tutorials, all the scenarios in the... Um, all the career scenarios in on the West Highland line extension and then we'll pick a different route and do some more of those but also in the meantime hopefully there will be some solo snippets for you to see and there will be a second series of Railway Empire coming up um, there will be lots of stuff on the channel so um, railway based and of course non railway based but yes we're driving this Class 87 large logo with the Highland Railway Scotty Dog oh, I'll put my headlights on just because I like to have headlights on while I'm driving a diesel for no other reason than I can have them on. And then there's the sleeper set as well which comes in from the Caledonian sleeper and I do believe that's a Morrison's right next to us oh it's a Mollinson's, Mollison's, so yeah Morrison's Mollison's Yes, I've actually been to Fort William. I was doing when I was doing schools tours and that. We we stayed in Fort William for one night, and uh, yeah, it, it's this is actually a pretty good representation of it from what I remember. Obviously, if you live in Fort William, let me know just how bad it actually is. Um, but yeah, so this is quite a long wait at the start of this video because first of all, he's got to go, <laughs> and then once my signal here goes green, I've then got to collect a token <laughs> to allow me into the system um, electronically and then we get to go forwards but yeah, like I said once we get to Glenfinnan that'll be the end of this video and then we'll do the second part of the video second part of the run in the next video which you'll see on Monday provided my schedule is still um, running if it's not then you'll see it when you see it um, <laughs> it's, as, it's as simple as that right Please proceed when you have clearance. Remember, you must obey conventional signals on the way out of Fort William and onto the Malay line. Radio signaling commences beyond Malay Junction. The next station stop is Banavi. I can't go anywhere because that's still red. Once that becomes not red, I can enter the system. Um, or I can apply to enter the system anyway. <laughs> apply. I can ask the... Uh, I reckon I can two, do two, this now, yeah? There we go. Message, 
We're going to get the token now. Press receive. And that should give us to lock I love. Yep. Okay, let's get going. We're away. One of the reasons I want to do the one of the reasons I want to do the um, well, they chat underneath me. Thank you. Um, one of the reasons I want to do um, the career mode stuff is because it gives you the score down below, down at the bottom here. So at the moment I've got 83 because I was on time picking up the passengers from a station I was already at, which seems like a low bar, frankly. Um, and I traditionally because I'm just driving for you guys most of the time or just for myself it's very rare I do the career stuff I tend to just do free roams and have a look around and run the engines that I want to run but this time I'm, I'm actually putting I'm putting myself to the test <laughs> um, if I can again positive score if I can end up with a positive score I'm, ha I'm basically happy um, if I can end up with a good positive score that's even better but I do not class myself as necessarily a good driver right red light ahead of us so we'll slow that's also one of the reasons I've picked a predominantly diesel worked line first because they are easier to drive <laughs> um, we will get steam we might even get some American um, or American and or foreign locomotives and routes in these playlists um, so yeah you're just gonna have to we're just going to have to see what happens. It's an adventure for all of us. Um, and I've never actually driven the full route of this. I've driven bits from Fort William and I've driven bits from Malay, but I've never driven the entire route. So I'll be interested. It'll be interesting to see. I know that I use a lot of scenery from this in Sodor. Uh, a couple of bridges and a couple of the buildings uh, in Sodor. Obviously, if you're new and don't know what the Sodor, what Sodor I'm referring to, check out the Sodor snippets place in the description below, and also check out the. Um, Train Sim Workshop series in the description below. If you enjoy, and also check out the Railway Empire series in the description below, series one, the London Railway. Um, season two of that will be coming up fairly shortly. Uh, well, it'll be, it's coming up. Um, it won't be like the next thing you see because there's a fair few things I want to get through on the channel, railway-wise and otherwise. Um, but yeah, so there's there's plenty of railway footage on this channel <laughs> if you want to if you want to. Uh, if you want to watch some, uh -huh. this must be Malay Junction, presumably. Yes, I'm also going to try and drive these career modes as much as possible from the cab, um, so we can see what the engineers would see. I can move, obviously. Fort William Yard and Tom Nafair Yard. I I can't do Gaelic. I apologise. Tom Nafair depot are located on the right. So that's then there. This is a bit like Train Sim World. I've only got Train Sim World one. It's only the basic one because I've got it on Xbox Live because I couldn't afford um, either the new one or the original one. If you want to see me do some Train Sim World stuff, let me know in the comments below. Um, it would just be the very basic that was released when it was first released. Um, so it wouldn't be anything particularly exciting or that you guys haven't seen before. But yeah, let me know. Um, but yeah, so right now we have to go oh, one in a hundred and we're going down. I have driven a bit, like I said, this is the bit of the route I've driven before and this is quite quickly downhill, isn't it? And there's the other depot with the West Highland Railway carriages. But, um, but I'm hoping I can get a semi-decent score. Um, if only because as it loads the next bit of line in. Uh, press to make your old. Oh, I've got to inform the signal that I'm clear of the station throat. Um, while they chat underneath me, hopefully you can still hear me. Locky Viaduct in the Locky Castle is on the right. Is it now? But where on the right? I can't see it. Genuinely can't see it. Oh well, never mind. Have a train to drive. Um, oh, thank you. But uh, what was I saying? I'm, I was going to make a point. I can't remember what it was. Um, 
But yeah, oh, that was it. I'm hoping that usually I'm quite a prompt driver in that I tend to I don't tend to lose points for being late. I do tend to lose points for speeding. Read into that what you will. <laughs> oh, Banavi, it's got a Banavi's got a um a level crossing right behind it, so we're going to have that Nino sound all the time. Although, incidentally, Banavi is actually where the signalling is run from, I believe. So this is Banavi Station is where they control the entire Fort William to Malague line from, signalling-wise. So when I chat to them on the radio, I'll be chatting to I'll be chatting to this station coming up right anyway. Let's put our first bit of brake on. I'm sure I've missed about five whistle boards. What is it? Mark on whistle boards. Spectacular bit of break. There we go. So this is Banavi. Stick me head out the window so I can get a. good I reckon and we're on time as well nicely nice doing pretty well yeah we're gonna have that sound for the next two minutes for which I apologize but that's how long we have to wait at Banner V and that's what the noise is but yeah so like I said I'm hoping to run these um, whenever I do this I'm hoping to run them from within the locomotive only so I'll break it for this, so you're not going to get a lot of this, this sort of stuff. Um, I want it to be basically, basically in here, so you would see what the drivers and engineers would see. Um, but yeah, so obviously this is the first, this is all pre-recorded, you, know, you, you probably know by now that this channel is pre-recorded quite a way in advance. Um, I'm recording this in January, this is probably coming out in March, I would guess. Um, but again, I don't know. So, um, but yeah, so if there's any particular route you want me to do, let me know in the comments of this series, and I shall record it in due course. Um, pardon me, obviously routes that get lots of mentions I will do. Um, first, uh, I can't guarantee I've got every route. Um, I am hoping to expand slowly the routes I have, because there are some that I want for projects that I want to do in train sim, um, but that will be a slow process, so um, unless I get to making some sort of money out of YouTube in the next 12 months, uh, sometimes the answer will be, I don't have that route and I won't for the foreseeable future. But if I have a route and you guys want to see it, I will do it. No questions asked. Obviously if I then obtain a route that you guys have asked for, I will also do the career mode on that. But also, like I said, there's going to be stuff like Solar Snippets, there's going to be more Railway Empire stuff, there's going to be lots of Railway stuff alongside the other stuff that, this, that I have on this channel, which is much and varied. We should be leaving Barnaby very soon, and that noise behind, and we should get a decent score. So we start, we were on 83 before we arrived at Barnaby, and we were well on time, so let's see, shall we? Oh, another 85, lovely. Crossing the Caledonian Canal and Balavi Spring, the climbing blocks of Neptune's staircase can be seen on the right as we cross. Lovely, let's go. I'll go slowly because it's 5 mph. Immediately out of Balavi across the bridge. And if I move right across the cab to the far side. There you can see um, Neptune's staircase, which is pretty cool as a piece of engineering, let's be fair here. Um, allowing canals to go uphill. Very clever and ingenious solution. Then get to back to my preferred view in the Class 37. Oh, by the way, I am not a diesel expert at all. Um, not in the slightest. I know very little about diesels. Um, but you know how when I'm doing the other stuff with the, with the steam locomotives I can generally talk some sort of sense about them? 
It's not going to happen here. It's a diesel. It's a class 37. Um, apparently they were quite popular. That's all I got for you. <laughs> Literally. Okay. A bit more throttle as we leave Banavi because we're now going uphill. And we're moving into the 40 mph zone. I think I've done it in such a way that by the time I hit 6 mph, I'm going to get like minus 12 points for speeding. Or oh, minus 18, fair enough. 24? Seems a bit harsh. Never mind, I can take that. So if we get a move on and then almost immediately slow because we've then got this 25 mph speed limit. This is one thing I would say to the developers of train sim or any routes on train sim. Particularly if you've got a good long route, like this is a decent length route, the West Highland extension. Um, far too few scenarios or scenario packs come with at least one end-to-end -end run. Um, like a route learning run like this and I really enjoy stuff like that obviously I appreciate that I'm not the only person that plays train sim so you've got to you know I also enjoy a good shunting scenario or a good um, freight scenario but um, but yeah a good end to end run is also you know much appreciated so next stop is core pack which is going to which we're going to be in plenty of time for but actually we can probably afford to start slowing now for core pack because at the moment we're going to arrive two minutes early, which means there's going to be more time for us to just sit around and chat about nonsense. Uh, I really would like to go on the Fort William line. I'd like to go on the Jacobite Express, the steam, um, the steam haul service they do up there. Um, but that is. Sadly, obviously, at time of recording, ignoring the pandemic, um, which has put a stop to pretty much everything. Um, certainly everything fun like that, anyway. Um, here we are, here is Corpac. Full service is perhaps a bit much, although we were going, we were going reasonably speedy coming into the station, I suppose. Oh, it's going to have that noise again! <laughs> You get it, there's a level crossing. I think I've done pretty good there again, and once again I'm very early, and wasn't speeding. And uh, no, that one little bit of speeding doesn't count as speeding. So this is going to be a really, really frustrating. See what, can I... Ah, it doesn't even get rid of it in there. Yes, I apologise wholeheartedly. Sorry, didn't mean to click on number two. I apologise wholeheartedly for the sound effect you're going to hear, but what I'll do is to save both you and I, I'll come back um, when we are able to move on. And I think that's us, yes, right away, the next stop is Lock Isle Outward Bound as we leave Corpac the Corp at Sea Lock on the left mark to the western end of the Caledonian Canal. Lovely, yes, sorry about the um, that particularly revolting sound, but... Never mind, we're, we're out of it now, and I believe that that is the last, certainly in this part of the video, that is the last railway station with a, um, with a, uh, a level crossing, so we won't have that noise again. Um, I think I've had to cut out about four minutes worth of footage there. The Nevis Ranger. As we go past the bottom end of the lock. That noise is still there. Go away. Right, now. We can go up to 40 mph, that's good. And I can get to my preferred viewing spot. Thank you. Get the, um, the train warning system. I can't remember what it's called. AWS, the automatic warning system. That's the one. That's the one. 
as we make a decent move out of um, Korpach. I reach just drive English routes. Korpach pulp and paper mill site. Now he's crossing timber we traverse and act level crossings before passing the junction and accessing the mill side. Lovely. So I imagine we're doing something with them at some point. I've had a quick look through the descriptions of all the things. There's some good freight work on this route actually. Pulling logs and oil and stuff like that, which I'm I'm excited to do. AWS again. Well me, there it is. Sorry, I don't I'm not ill or anything, I'm just drinking a lot of cheap cola. Which is giving me the wind pops. Ah yes, this must be the junction. I'd say so, so oh yep. Yeah. Lots of logs. That'll be the timber that gets processed. He said, rather obviously. So far we're doing pretty well, 229 is my score. That can drop and it probably will very, very quickly. Because there's a lot of places along here. Well, I, I know it's quite a hilly route, so that means up and down. Now going up isn't so difficult, I can control going up. Going down I struggle to control a locomotive. Although a diesel is slightly more easy to control than a, than a steamer when it comes to that sort of stuff, so... Beyond Corpac will run alongside Lock Isle, prepare to stop at Lock Isle out of bound station in one and a half miles apart from his very short B position. Be sure to position your first coach correctly. Oh, there we go. Speaking of. Thank you. I only lost eight points for speed in there though. I'll take that. Considering I was quite slow on the brake. So I'm going to have to watch the speedometer here and actually, I'm going to have to actually drive. I don't usually have to drive in that sort of sense. Oh no, it's levelling out, that's good. Hey look, there's a road. Hey, hey cars. And there is Lock Isle. Lock Isle, Lock Eel? Isle, Eel? One of the two. I think it's Lock Eel. Um, but. So I've insulted the Welsh while playing train sim, now I'm insulting the Scottish as, a, as an English person. Um, this channel is going to go great guns. Fortunately the majority of my um, viewers at time of recording are American, so hopefully I haven't offended you guys yet. I mean, give me time. I, c I can work on it. Ah yes, now we'll need to contact the signal box at Banavie in, in a moment because Loch Isle is the end of our toker. Thank you. What are you digging at, Merida? Never mind, I'll find out when I get to the station. Merida! Or blue, I can't see which rabbit it is. I swear. Stop it, right. Whenever I record, always happens. Happened during the um, the Sodor Santa special as well. Check that out in the description below. The Christmas special from end of 2020. Fuck me. Okay, right. So. You talking to me? No, 2020. I think I said 2020 anyway. Run it back. Did I say 2020? You be the judge. Okay, so now I've got to stop in the right position, which probably means throwing some brakes on. I might have got that wrong. In fact, I will have got. Oh no, I'm not so sure. You know, I think I've got that bang on right. Ah! Oh. Ah! Nailed it!
by fluke. Right, contact the signal box. Two, two, seven, eight, seven, Not this. Send this time. I hit send. Oh, that is a lengthy process. I know it needs to be, but right. So we're next. So I will give up that token at Glenfin and in ten miles. Oh, didn't mean to do that. That's what I meant to do. There we go. <laughs> Ow. Oh, hello, Merida. Trying to make friends with me now, are you? So you're going to be first. She'll leg it, and she did. Right. So. We're making good time. That score is going to go up again. So, positive scores so far. Long station stops. Considering that there's no one on the platform. Merida, I swear to high heaven. <laughs> oh, one woman just got on the train. Now it feels now it feels worth it. Lovely scenery though, nice foresty scenery. They've done a good job. I don't know how accurate the scenery is specifically, but it looks amazing. So we can probably take off the brakes now, so we can move as soon as the passengers have finished loading. Sorry, the passenger has finished loading. Lovely, let's go. And it's 40 mph, so we'll get up to speed and then Pull the throttle back. Pull it back. Oh, for the record, I know that in the last few videos I've looked more and more bold. I'm not. Yet. But it is receding quicker and quicker, so. And I think that's something we should all just accept. And by we, I mean me. And by accept, I mean complain about and mention constantly. Of the limits. Speak to Banavi again. There's the lock again, looking lovely. There's the road again, looking roady. Yes, I have. I is well clear of that station, bruv. Thank you, AWS. I am still alive. Oh. I'm going to get some points taken off for speeding there. Not many. Four. I'll, I'll take that. My score is now 302. 302. Ooh. I am positively acing this scenario so far. Give it time. <laughs> I've still got to get to Glen Finnan yet. <laughs> Which one of you is that? Blue, I see you. Rabbit. Hmm. So far, it's going well. Not going to be counting any chickens, but so far it's going well. And it's a nice route to drive as well. This is just genuinely quite lovely. That's a fairly nice loco as well. I've, I think I feel like I've got the 
I haven't fully got the hang of it. I feel like I've I've got control of it, which for me is a positive, because we all saw what happened when I drove Tally Klim. Didn't take the brake off, did I? The handbrake. So I clearly know what I'm doing. Whistle for the level crossing. Well, say whistle. Um, sort of honk the horn, really. A road underneath? No, it's a river. Or an inlet, probably more correctly. <laughs> slightly behind in terms of reaching Glenfin and Viaduct on time, but as long as I'm... It doesn't like take minus points off you just because you're like two seconds late. As long as you're within a certain time, it'll give you your timeliness bonus, a, posit a positive bonus as well. But we'll just have to see how it runs. get a message in a second anyway, going by the route um, diagram down the bottom. The heads up display. Uh, what you got for me? Guard is confirmed we have passengers who wish to aboard who wish to aboard who wish to alight at Lock Isle side. Please stop at the station which is one mile ahead, please adjust your radio on arrival. Cool. I can do that. I can definitely do that. But I won't put any more um, uh, throttle on. Just give that quick little sound of the horn, or presumably a foot crossing. It is indeed a foot crossing. Uh, let's see about half a mile from Lock Isle side, so I think. Let's, see, let's stick a little bit of. Breaking on just to slow us because I don't know how I don't know how big the platform is at Lock Isle side, so or Lock Eel side. Pardon me, pardonnez moi, windy pops. Um, okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know. There's there's the offence for the Americans. Okay, so which side of the train is the platform on? I'm gonna guess the right hand side. It is, yes. Let's get that cursor out of the way. Oh, excuse me. Burping at you and now yawning. Lovely little cottages right next to the railway. Bit more room to play with at Lock, lock Eel side, so Don't to break quite so quickly. Yes, I will update my radio frequency in a second. Need to stop the train first, which I've done a little bit later than normal. First coach, probably uh, most of the first coaches on. I'll take that. Of course, I've adjusted that. That's fine. So that's just a case of making sure we is good to go once all the passengers have alighted at Lock Eel side. And we're in with a chance of getting to Glenfin and Viaduct roughly on time. If we can get there within. A minute, I would say, I'd be happy with that, particularly given that I've had an extra stop. Good timing as bonus. Ben Finnan is now uh, six miles away, but my next instruction is to stop at Glen Finnan Viaduct. 
so we don't stop at the station straight away. Well, we're going to. It's saying we're tied to there at 1442.51. I'm getting there at 1443.09. I want to. I want to shave some of those seconds off. Get us back to. In at least in between 1442. May not be able to. And that's fine. Might just have to accept that we're going to be a little a, a touch late. But that, you know, at the moment it's within acceptable parameters. I've got ourselves up to 40 mph nice and quickly. Let me get that cursor out of the way. You're a professional YouTuber. I'm not. <laughs> Didn't whistle. Pro possibly killed someone on that on that crossing. Never mind. This is a very scenic route, and I don't just mean as in the real life route, as in the train simulator, the virtual version of it is a very scenic, scenery heavy route. Woot. Route. Uh, I like it though. I like it. I think it works. It's, it's been so far pleasurable to drive through. And relatively painless to drive through as well. Hello. Don't do it, bud. It's just speed again, is it? Blue. Oh, bad rabbit. Blue. No. ourselves at speed. Bear with me, I have to hit a rabbit in the face. I'm back now. As you can tell, it hasn't worked. <laughs> Blue! Oh, he's a bad rabbit. He's not, he's lovely. About eight minutes away from Glenfin and Viaduct. We aren't going to get there at 14:42. It is going to be in the 14:43. But so far, we're still within a minute, and I will take that with my score standing as it is at 387, which I will take. <laughs> my first public career run. I'll take three. I'll take 387. points for speeding there. 385, still take it. Drop down the hill. Gain a little bit more speed from. Get us back up towards 40 mph. wants to be famous on the internet, that's all it is. That's what it is. He wants you all out there to know that he's there. Not all he wants, and he'll get it. Not until reach Glen Finner. Which at the 
the moment shouldn't be, shouldn't be too far away. Benton and Viaduct is in two, two and a half miles. Benton itself is in three and a half miles, or three and a third miles. So we are making progress, and we are doing it in a timely fashion. Which is good because it means I can keep my score at a positive. For the record, um, over the series, there's no like competitive edge to this. I'm not trying to. I'm obviously trying to complete them each and every to the best of my ability, but I'm not aiming for a specific set of score. Or I'm not going to say like you know, unless I get three gold stars, I failed everything. Um, the score is just a sort of it's a MacGuffin to talk about, frankly. <laughs> um, for when things get a bit dull. Because this is the problem with, with railway travel. Um, part of the joy is just looking out the window, which is really, it's a really wonderful joy, but it's not something that lends itself to chatter. So if I do go quiet at any point in any of these proceedings, I apologise profusely. Up the hill, 37, up the hill. One in 53, that's nothing for something like you. Class 37, powerful locomotive. I have a couple of them on Sodo. I think I have a large logo one as well. No, I don't have one of these because of the whole token thing. Set up a token system on the soda. That's a conversation I'll have with myself privately off camera. Approaching the, I, the iconic Glenfin and Viaduct as it's a fairly clear day, we will stop at the Viaduct to allow passengers to take in the views across the Glen towards Lock Shield. So I'm coming up to a 30 mph speed limit, which I shall adhere to. Go, all sorted. Let's see if there's a word. There we go. Good. So I'm, enjo I'm, I'm enjoying the um, the let's play proper let's play um, feeling to this because usually, like I said, it's just let's have a look around, see what it is, talk about the scenery. But no, this is this is me having to actually drive. challenge actually. I can only imagine that there are going to be certain rates out there that will challenge me more than the Fort William to Malay line. Although it is a fairly challenging route at times. But we're approaching Glenfinnan Viaduct and we're in pretty good time at the moment. I do actually know some stuff about Glenfinnan Viaduct thanks to um, Steam Days, the old BBC program. Um, it was made entirely out of concrete by concrete Bob McAlpine of the McAlpines um, and there is a there's a few legends about it, there it is there is the viaduct just underneath my face and we shall, we shall be stopping upon it and we're actually almost going to do it on time 14, 42, 51, we're supposed to be at that, it's saying ETA 14, 42, 57, that's not bad, that's not bad, well it is 25 mph speed limit on it as well, as we enter Glenfinnan Viaduct, it's not a bad view from a viaduct, let's be fair, but yeah, it's all concrete, and it was I believe, at the t at time of construction, the longest concrete viaduct in the world. Double check those facts, but I'm pretty sure. So there's the 
Well, we're actually ahead of time. We're ahead of time by nearly eight seconds. Not sure how I've managed to do that. Let's let's have to stick my head out the window and have a look. Not quite in the middle of the um, viaduct, but I don't mind that. It's not a bad view that way. What's the view like the other way? Oh, well, that's the view the other way. <laughs> it's got a cinematic camera shot. It's not a bad view, is it? Let's be fair, quite a nice little bit of countryside. Anyway, many photographs have been taken. You can now proceed to Glenfinnan Station. Ah, wheel. Let's get back on the move. 1447.35 at Glenfinnan, in just over half a mile. Stick my head back in. Close the window. And then close the throttle. Because the limit is still 25 while we're on the viaduct. It becomes 30 once we leave the viaduct, I believe. And while I'm not doing competitive scoring, 470. Ah, oh, smashing this. While the score is not a vital part of the Let's Play scenario, it would be nice to get some decent scores. It means I've driven it well. <laughs> the score is a pure vanity thing for me, let's be fair here. That's, that's what the score is. An extra 10 MPH to play with and go up to 30, then we will immediately drop to 15 as we enter Glenfinnan. Uh, and that's what Glenfinnan is where we'll end this episode. Um, and then in the next episode, in part 2, you'll see us go from Glenfinnan to Malay. Since I'm arriving in plenty of time. So the last little bit of power goes up to about 27.5 mph. And then because it's a 1 in 50, I shall lock that off. And prepare to slow to the 15 mph that is required for me to enter Glenfinnan. Ah, we have a yellow light. That's fine. So it's a little bit more throttle just to make sure we actually arrive at Glenfinnan. We're coming into the left hand platform. Okie dokie, lovely. Still at 1 in 50. Starting to level off a little bit as we enter the platform itself. Hopefully it will completely level off, because that makes braking a lot easier. But yes, here we are at Glen Finnan. I have to stop here because that's the end of this token. I can go no further without the correct token. There we go, I think I've managed to get pretty much all I need to get. Oh, that is pretty well perfectly stopped. So we're going to pause it here. So thank you ever so much for watching. If you are enjoying what you're seeing, please like and subscribe. Check out Train Sim in the description below. Check out my Sodor snippets. Description below, Train Sim Workshop stuff. Description below, uh, Railway Empire stuff. Description below, check it all out. There's lots of lots of railway footage on the channel. Um, we shall come back in the next episode. We'll do the rest of this route learning run from Glenfinnan up to um, Malague. So thank you ever so much for watching. I was me. That was Train Sim on the West Coast, uh, on the West Highland Line extension from Fort William to Malague. We'll see you in the, see you in the next episode, guys. Goodbye. And sometimes, that's, as long as it looks right, doesn't matter how you've done it. Is it okay? I wouldn't know that there's nothing past that scene. It doesn't matter there's nothing past that scene. I can't see it. I'm behind a rock wall. So, no, it's, it's an economical route. So for lower end computers, uh, this is definitely a must.